Team Angry Birds, and today I'll be reacting to uh, Death Arena Season, what season? 4, Episode 1, Super Smash Brothers vs. The Avengers. Alright, let's do this. Oh, it's the intro, that's so cool. I saw the intro when they uploaded it on YouTube. Whoa, was that Chase vs. Kion? Cool. I really can't wait for that episode. Yeah, I don't know all these characters. Okay, I know that's Pepsi Man. Ronald McDonald. That's Leo. I don't know who that is. But this looks really cool. Okay, that's Mugman. Steve. Mario. Versus Twilight. A weird one, but makes slightly sense. I knew it was Chase vs. Kion. Helping out. I'm helping out with that. Ronald Mc the food versus drinks war. Cool. Nintendo versus Marvel. Video games versus movies. Uh -huh. Super Smash Brothers versus Avengers. Uh -huh. Hello, Death Arena fans, and welcome to the fourth season. We have a Hello. lot of new aspects that we're excited to show. To cool. start off. We have two teams ready for an all-out war to the finish. Uh -huh. Who is it? Super Smash Brothers versus the Avengers. Okay. First, it is important to know that Team Smash will only be given feats from their video games. Okay. And they'll be using the Avengers from the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Okay. That, With that being said, that makes them less powerful, but the they're still very powerful. For Team Smash, we have Mario, Link, Kirby, Pikachu, Samus, Fox, My favorite characters on the Smash Sonic. roster is Sonic For and Pikachu. Avengers, we have Iron Man. Captain America. Thor, my favorite the from the Avengers Hulk, is Black Iron Man and Spider-Man. And Spider -Man. They're my favorites. Which team has the most powerful members? Find out as we see who will survive in the arena of death. Okay. We've got a total of 16 different fighters to discuss. 16? So we'll keep it brief with the analysis. Okay. Let's begin with the MCU Avengers. And who better to start with than the leader, Tony Stark, I a.k.a. Am Iron, Iron Man. Man. This yeah, this might spoil the movies for me, but uh, I'm not that much of an Avengers fan, so it, it doesn't matter for me. Highly lacks speed, but he also has a nanotech suit that can fix itself when damaged. Cool. This suit was able to make Thanos bleed when most of the other Avengers couldn't. Iron Dang. Man's suits are also extremely durable, as they are able to take damage from falling meteors. Up next is Steve Rogers, aka Captain America. This World War soldier uh -huh. is equipped with an adamantium shield, which can be used for both offense and defense. Right, that's cool. He is highly skilled in combat and fast enough to dodge lasers. Captain is also capable of wielding Thor's hammer, which will give him How is he able to wield, power wield Thor. Thor's hammer? However, I mean, I heard about this in like uh, an endgame, but I still wonder how. The next fighter for the MCU is the God of Thunder, Thor Odinson. His signature weapon is his hammer, which weighs over a million tons. His second Dang. weapon is an axe called the Stormbreaker, which has star level power. Thor is able to fly at super fast speeds and control lightning to his will. Cool. Also, whenever he loses either of his weapons, Thor can have them come fly back into his hands. This nice. next fighter has me green with envy. Dr. I wonder Bruce how the Banner, Hulk was the in Hulk, that Thor movie. Was it the third or the fourth? Of many, I don't know. This said strength is measured by his anger. The angrier the Hulk gets, the stronger he becomes. Wow. The Hulk is also fast enough to dodge attacks from Thor. He may be extremely strong, but the Hulk isn't exactly a strategist. That is true. Next is the archer who'd give Robin Hood a run for his money, and his name is Hawkeye. Okay, don't hate me, but I'm not. I don't like Hawkeye. He has an athletic level. I don't hate him, but like I still, I don't like him. His attacks are another story. His arrows come in an overwhelming variety. The only cool thing about him is that he never misses whenever he hits with his arrows. It is and also interesting to uh, he, he puts bombs on his arrows, in battle. which that's cool. Many great hero teams need a spy. And Black for Widow, the Avengers, slightly better than Black Hawkeye, Widow. She mainly can because guns. Hawkeye in terms of physical power, but her combat skills and agility make her an incredible aspect. Uh huh. She has a wide arsenal of weapons, such as grenades, tasers, grappling hooks, okay. and guns. Ooh, her and tasers guns. can also electrify her punches, giving Black Widow the ability to deliver shocking blows. Our next fighter has Iron Man as his mentor. Next is Peter Spider Man. Parker, Spider, Spider Man. Man. This teenage hero yeah, is this capable my favorite of shooting Avenger webs from these devices attached ever. to his wrists, which he can use to trap enemies or swing to different locations. 
He can also climb walls mm -hmm. and sense danger with his spider sense. Yep. Spider-Man is also equipped with the Iron Spider Suit. This suit is made of vibranium and gives him the most durability. Oh, cool. He can easily take hits from Thanos, survive the vacuum of space. I really wish he would have survived the Thanos snap. For combat. And finally, we have King Tachala. Black Panther. Black Panther. I felt bad when the actor, the yeah, this guy, I felt bad when he died. The untimely death of his father, Tachaka, I can't believe they made a sequel without him. Tachala's physical attributes are comparable to a super soldier. This includes strength, speed, and agility. Black Panther also has enhanced senses, as well as a healing factor. Uh -huh. Another great thing to note is his vibranium claws. Which are strong enough to damage Captain America. Yeah, America's I really like Wakanda technology. Overall, so cool. The MCU Avengers have a great amount of powerful warriors with wide varieties of that skills is and abilities. True. Yep. While they're not as powerful as their comic counterparts, Say what? they're still forces to be reckoned with and have great chemistry together. Their comic book forms are powerful. Oh yeah. Assemble. Nice. That's enough with the movies. Let's move on to video games. To start Team Smash Off, we have to go with Mr. Video Game himself. Of course, Mario. we have to go with Mario. If you guys watched the movie, tell me what you think about it. I haven't Princess watched Peach it. And the Mushroom Kingdom. He's even traveled throughout the multiverse to do so. Mario is strong enough to lift entire castles, smash through solid brick, and outswim black holes. Mario also has a huge arsenal of power ups that grant him abilities, such as fire manipulation, uh -huh. ice manipulation, Flight, and even temporary invincibility. I'm pretty sure he's already adapted the to the fire one, yeah, so he can do it without like the, the without the fire flower. The but I'm pretty sure that would still sword. make him more he powerful the with the fire. Of courage to fight off the faces of evil. He is also equipped with items such as lamp oil, throw, and bombs, as well as useful ranged weapons such as boomerangs and arrows. Our next fighter is the Star Kirby. Warrior of Dreamland. Wait, Kirby. Age Infinity? Don't judge a book by its cover. Uh huh. Kirby may be adorable, but he's actually a deadly eating machine. With a good heart. A deadly eating machine with good heart. How come Kirby's age is infinity? So Kirby will never die? So is Kirby born like in the beginning of time? Or he can also travel faster than light using his warp star. Is it a he? Oh, it's a he. Okay. In his like world or something? I don't know. Next up is the face of Pokemon. Pikachu. Pikachu. My favorite Pokemon. As an electric type Pokemon. PKQ has many shocking attacks and electrifying speed. His most signature moves include Thunderbolt, Iron uh -huh. Tail, and Bolt Tackle. Uh -huh. This mouse may be small, Wait, he's a but mouse? he's also extremely fast and powerful. Do a barrel roll for our next fighter, Why? Fox McCloud. Fox is <laughs> like a highly skilled commander Fox. of a space patrol Duh. team. <laughs> That's he funny. He has a variety of weapons, such as smart bombs, a blaster gun, a reflector, and metal legs. When he is in trouble, he can battle using vehicles such as the Landmaster and the R-Wing. Uh-huh, yeah. Another space-related hero on Samus. Smash is a bounty hunter named Samus Aran. After space pirates killed her parents, Oh, Samus yeah, that's dark. Forgot Trezo about that. I can't believe everyone thought that Samus was a boy, but then it turned out Samus was a girl. Which was fused with her mind, body, and spirit. It also has weapons such as the arm cannon, missiles, bombs, and beams. Next, we have one of the original unlockable Ness. characters. Ness. Ah, yes, Ness. Ness. Is a legendary AKA Sans, AKA ability. Steven, AKA Patrick. PK Fire, PK Thunder, Most of that PK was PK Star Storm, Sans jokes, but Most whatever. Most of these moves are pretty self explanatory. Ness is also able to use a bat and a yo yo as a weapon. Ness may be powerful, but he is very young. True. Last Isn't he a kindergarten? Least, we have the fastest thing alive. Sonic the Hedgehog. He's the fastest thing alive. Hedgehog. My He's favorite out of all the ones. From Dr. Eggman. Uh -huh. His most notable attacks include the spin dash, uh -huh. drop dash, homing attack, and much more. Uh -huh. And with the seven chaos emeralds, Pretty sure intelligence Sonic would have been a five, but uh, what do I know? Sonic, fly, I'm not a research guy. Well, I'm not a good research guy. Power. Overall, Team Smash is full of numerous game characters with yep. unique abilities. They have accomplished the impossible and are even filled with power-ups that can increase their stats. Yep, that's true. <laughs> Did they just get Super Mario Bros. to just put Smash? Is, is Super Smash Bros. even a Mario game? Alright, 
Let's get ready New York combat. City. Would that give them Battle the advantage or no? With the Avengers? And there's no prep time for either team. And now, it's time to see who will survive in the arena. Oh, I love that animator. That animator is so cool. Gabriel, oh my gosh. Oh, Death Arena lore. Oh, hey Mario. Hey, Toilet. Are you okay? You've been acting off, lady. Huh, I know. It's just that I can't help but feel like things are just gonna get worse. The multiverse is in danger, and we don't know exactly how to stop this. Tidal Wave said he'd tell us exactly who we're up against eventually, but a lot can happen until then. Don't worry about it. As long as we stand together, we'll overcome the odds. Mario! Luigi? What's the matter? I just got a message from Sonic. Bowser's minions are invading a city called New York City. Bowser's back? Yes, the other Smash Bros are there, but they need a backup. I can send you there with a portal spell. Thank you, Twilight. Okay, this should send you straight there. Be careful, Mario. Don't worry, I'll be back soon. Good luck, bro. Did Luigi just abandon Mario? Alright, the sprite animation time. Whoa, kinda looked like Superman going that fast. Don't know why. This is how most sprite animations start. The other person thinks the other guy is a bad person. Alright, there's Link. Thor. Pikachu. Black Panther. Samus. Hawkeye. Fox. Hulk. Sonic. Black Widow. Ness. Spider-Man, Kirby, and Captain America. Oh, cool. Spider-Man versus Sonic. The best fight out of all of this. Kirby just already ate someone. Of course, you have to go with the Super Smash Brothers theme. I feel like Mario could win um, if we can get past Captain America's shield. I mean, I don't think it would be able to break the shield, but it would definitely kill Captain America. Like, see, the shield can literally block anything. Oh, wow. Mario won, I think. I don't know. I don't Captain America just looks like he's knocked out. Not like dead, but honestly, that's fine. I feel like Thor could win against Link. I mean, Link does have like a good arsenal, but still. Yes! I was right. Oh, never mind. I think Link's gonna win. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, never mind! Thor won. Oh no, Pikachu versus Black Panther. I think Pikachu's gonna die. Being honest, um, I don't know who to root since I actually like both of these characters, but still. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's not good. Yeah, that's why he loses. He faced the wrath of a king. I, mean, I know Hawkeye and Black Widow work well together, but I don't know about Samus and Fox. What? I thought he never misses. Oh, yeah, he definitely did not miss. Oh, dang. Oh! Okay, now it's getting a bit violent. Well, okay, it already got violent, but still. Yeah, that's why you never get involved with the girl fight. 
What the? Whoa! Okay. Looks like Sam has clearly won. Kirby just flooded. What the? Whoa. Whoa! Okay. Being honest, I don't know who's gonna win, so I'll just watch this one. Dang, Hulk's being a bit harsh to him. Oh, looks like you got the Hulk's power, I think. Oh, cool, Sonic vs. Spider-Man, the best one out of all of this fight, all of all the fighting, all the, all the fights, sorry. Yeah, it's gonna be a little tough to tough for Sonic to hit him since with the spider sense, but Sonic's fast, so I think he might be able to handle it. Yeah, come on, Sonic. I like Sonic slightly more than Spider-Man. Yes, Sonic won! He survived. Looks like Iron Man versus Ness. Oh, dang, dude just dragged a kindergartner through the ground. At least I think he's a kindergartner. Pretty sure he is. Dang, dude's being tough to that kid. Small pit of the Hulkbuster. Me, yeah. Dang, dude, just beat up a little kid. Okay, there's Black Panther. Oh, no, I really hope this does not turn out like cartoon beatbox battle. I feel like Sonic could lose because Black Panther technology, like what kind of technology is better than like Eggman's technology. Oh, yeah, I think he's gonna what? Oh, never mind. Sonic wants some revenge after cartoon beatbox battles. Whoa! I thought Sonic was gonna die after that, but nope. Oh, Iron Man versus Samus. That's another good one. Plus, with both of their parents dead and they're like, suits have high tech stuff. You know. I don't know who's gonna win, but I feel like Captain America could win, but I still don't know. Boom! Yeah. Oh, it's a 2v2. Oh, never mind, 3v3. What the? Oh, I think it's still 3v3. Oh man, I really wonder. Wait, wait, couldn't Kirby inhale Sonic and Mario so then? Kirby would have Mario's strength and Sonic's speed and just like, like literally outmatch both of them. I know it would be a 1v1, but still. I mean, a 2v1. <gasps> oh, are they gonna lose? <laughs> he just spit Mario out and that's how they die. Uh, is he okay? Is Mario okay? Yay, Kirby survived. Yes, Sonic survived. Oh, wow, and Mario's alive. That's cool. Let's go! That was awesome. Good job to the animator. Wow. Avengers disassembled. <laughs> Avengers disassembled. I love that. The great fight and had just enough power to take down a few members of Team Smash. Yeah. We don't have the means to take out the more powerful members. Okay. Let's start by saying that we can easily drop Black Widow and Hawkeye. Yeah. They are weakest See, that's why I don't like them. They're like the weakest ones. Wall level in terms of power, while everyone else is higher. Speaking of which, let's start with attack power. The three most powerful members of uh -huh. Team Smash consists of Mario, Mario, Kirby, and Ness. What? These if Ness is one of the powerful ones, how did he die? Better speed with Sonic. This better hands with Ness. Of their variety yeah. of power -ups and Wait, what? How did Ness Mario die from Captain America if he's one of the most powerful ones? How did Sonic survive? Sonic gonna be in the Death Arena lore and so is Kirby. Uh-huh. Yeah, 
Yeah. Especially when Sonic goes super Yeah, definitely with Sonic. And Hyper. Actually, I'm pretty sure, um, what's Samus' Iron villain? Man Rigby? The the I think, like, if that dude just, like, grabbed one of the Avengers world. characters on the ground, could literally just Iron scrape Man's off their skin. Would give him a way to overwhelm Team Smash, but they have lots of experience fighting armies. Speaking of experience, Thor and Captain America have the most of it, but again, it hardly even matters, given the power differences. And uh -huh. finally... The Avengers have literally no way to counter any hexes of the Smash Brothers. That's true. Mario could use his stopwatch to manipulate time. Uh huh. Ness can use his powers to warp reality, uh -huh. heal his teammates, or oh, manipulate cool. his opponents. And nothing is stopping Kirby from inhaling some of the Avengers. Literally and eat all of them. <laughs> so while the Avengers put up the greatest fight they could, uh -huh. the movie versions don't really have any reliable way to win. Wow. Looks like the Avengers got smashed. <laughs> Get the smashed. Is the Super Smash Let's go! <laughs> if you want to see a rematch with different versions of Avengers, like the comics? But what about the video game characters? Ah, uh, I think I might like it. Wait. <gasps> no way! No way! Yo, I requested this episode! I, I did a few requests and this was one of them! Let's go! Already the second epic. Let's go, bro. I am excited. I'm gonna do a reaction video to that one. I'm excited. All right, special thanks. Yeah, definitely special thanks to this guy, the animator. All right, that was awesome. I know the, I know the, the battle idea is a bit weird, but it is still awesome. You can't deny it. I'm. I can't wait for the second episode. I'm definitely gonna do a reaction to that one. Well, guys. If you like this reaction video, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment down on what else I should react that is mostly appropriate, like 90%. And yeah, alright. Bye, guys. Bye.